Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 17th video as part of our series of video on power of reporting of Terry Pride. Now in the last video, we saw and understood the importance of cash flow management and fund flow management. Now in this video, we are going to see a very, very important and critical report, especially for the owners of the organization and the top management, which is the cash flow projection. So we will learn how you can quickly set up certain fundamental settings or configuration so that you will automatically able to view the cash flow projections for the upcoming month of the financial year. So let us go to Tally and explore this wonderful feature of cash flow projection. Firstly, for you to have effective and accurate cash flow projections, make sure you have enabled the following feature. Number one, make sure enable billwise entry is set to yes. Now this is going to help you for effective receivable and payable management. For all credit purchases and sales, specify bill reference and most importantly, you have to specify the credit period for each bill. If you have a standard credit days for each of your suppliers and customers, you can specify the same in the party master. Let me show you how to specify the credit period in the party master. Once we enable billwise detail, the next option is default credit period. So we can specify the default credit period here for each of the party. And you also have an option to change the default credit period during the transaction. So by doing this, once you make a transaction towards purchase invoice or sales invoice, automatically the credit period will get captured from the master. This is important for our cash flow projection. We will understand why it is critical at a later point in time. The next thing that you have to do is enable billwise detail for non-trading account also. This will enable you to split the monthly installments for all your short term and long term liabilities of loans and borrowings. Split the monthly installment while accounting the receipt of loan. Let me just quickly show you. In this company, there is a loan which is Citibank vehicle loan. And here, if you see, this option maintain bill by bill needs to be enabled. By default, this will not be enabled. So how do we get this option? Press F12 configure. Under F12 configure, you have this option maintain bill by bill is yes. For non-trading account also should be made as yes. Only when you make this as yes, you can set up the billwise detail for any ledger you want. Otherwise, by default, normally when you enable billwise detail, all the ledgers under sundry debtors and creditors will be enabled for billwise detail. So make sure that for non-trading account is also yes. And now when we are receiving the loan and accounting in the books of account, I'll show you how using the billwise detail we can break up into monthly installment payments so companies received a loan of 5 lakh rupees towards machinery purchase from citibank and here you will notice that since we have enabled billwise detail you can break up the repayment schedule with the monthly repayment amount for the entire amount the next one is you have to now capture provisional transactions for all your upcoming recurring payments and receipts like salaries rent electricity charges telephone interest or loan etc so how do we capture that we can capture this transactions as optional vouchers. So let me show you how you can capture the upcoming date. Notice that the current period for this company is 31st. So all the recurring payments as of 31st of August, they would have captured as a normal payment. And now we have to make the provisional transactions for the upcoming months. So that is when we will get a proper analysis of our cash flow projection. So how do we capture? Now this is an optional voucher. It says status is optional and the date is 1st of September, which is the future date. So the next installment falls on 1st of September. So you are going to capture this entry as payment towards the Citibank vehicle loan. 
but you have to mark this as optional how do we mark this as optional while capturing the transaction before you save the voucher on the right hand side now you are seeing this as regular because this option is toggled you will see optional voucher here when you click on optional voucher you will get this status as optional voucher and save this this way all your future or upcoming any payments or receipts you will capture with the respective dates and save this voucher and you will notice that all these starting from september till march these entries have been captured as optional voucher and since you will notice all this in the italic which means these transactions are optional voucher that we have captured once the suppliers and customers bill credit days and loans and borrowings payments are broken down month wise the upcoming receivable and payments after the current date of the month will automatically reflect in cash flow projections also the provisional entries just now we saw will reflect in the upcoming months let us now view the cash flow projection for this company again remember that the current date or the last date of voucher entry is 31st of august 2024 so which means now the cash flow projections the company would want to see starting from 1st of september till the end of the financial year to view cash flow projections again click on go to and just type projections and select cash flow projections the report will now display details for the month of august which is the current month and the projections for the upcoming month till the end of the financial year that is what we are seeing on the screen here by default the report will be condensed so to view this report in detail we have to press alt f5 and we will see this in the detailed view the first column displays the current month bank account receivable and payable we can also observe the upcoming months receivable payables also these amounts will be reflected as per our credit period that we have captured for each of the invoice let us select secured loans and drill down note these are the monthly payment breakup that we have captured while accounting of loans and borrowing in this company there are two loans one there is a term loan which is carried over from the previous financial year and in the current financial year the company is availed one loan which we just now saw in the transaction now quickly if we want to view this breakup so you will observe here that september month october november december till the month of march we had broken down this payable so quickly to view this click on city bank vehicle loan and you will have this transaction detail select the transaction and we will see that since we have broken down this installment to be payable month wise and this is the information that we are viewing here month on month in the cash flow projections let us escape and come back to the main report now this report is not complete what is missing a the cash balance is not getting displayed here b as of august the company might have overdue receivables and payables which means as on 31st of august what is the amount of receivables which the company should have received but not received as on date and similarly overdue payments which the company has not paid the pending amounts as per the due date so this information there could be overdue receivable and there could be overdue payable so we have to see if there are any overdue receivable and payable c the provisional transactions that we have captured for all recurring payments for the upcoming months through optional voucher should also get reflected here only then we will see the proper cash flow projections how do we bring this information now to this report on the right hand side button bar we see this button basis of value click on basis of value and now we have the list of configuration where we have this three options include cash account you have to just press enter or click here so that it will toggle from no to yes come down to the second option which is include scenario include scenario are those transactions which will now get added to the cash flow projections of all the provisional transactions that we have captured in the company through optional vouchers so again set this to yes the third one is include overdues so which means 
as on today what is the amount of overdue amounts that needs to be received or paid which is not received or paid as on date again set this to yes and now you can just press escape or press control a we will now observe the cash in hand is come you will see that new line item which says overdue receivables of 538280 is now added here similarly there is a overdue payable as on date which is 4,7,000. 88 now if you want to view the detail of overdue receivable all you have to do is just select overdue receivable and when you press enter or when you double click here you will get the detail of parties amount overdue it will also give you the detail of the due date and also the overdue days is visible here escape similarly we can view overdue payables also so we have this detail here due date and the overdue days escape next important aspect is the monthly recurring payments for upcoming months which we had captured as optional vouchers i am sure all of you are aware that once we capture any voucher with the status as optional those transactions will not impact the books of accounts so let us select cash and bank payable so it very clearly says that for the upcoming months very clearly states that for the upcoming months payment is not made but it could be payable through either cash or bank so select cash or bank payable and we go inside to view the transactions that we have captured as optional vouchers which now says for the month of september the total payable is going to be 215 and it is constant here and you will see here that the term loan gets over by january and subsequent month the payouts is reduced let's escape and come back to the main report now we can view the projections for the upcoming months with all the information captured we have to keep in mind that the overdue receivables and the overdue payables what we are viewing here is the projection for the month of august the way to read this information is if we had received these amounts and paid the overdue amounts then the cash flow projection for the month of august will be 8,63,912 so we are able to view the upcoming month's cash flow projections if you observe as per this report till the month of march the cash flow seems to be on the positive side provided all the amounts are received and paid as scheduled this report is very critical and important to manage cash flow effectively I hope the configurations that we understood about the receivable payable management and also the optional entries that we were able to capture for all the recurring payments how impactful it is going to be to provide you the proper cash flow projections for the upcoming months also we saw how you can break up your liabilities on a monthly basis especially the EMIs of the loan and impacting your cash flow projections. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.